What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be doing our SDCC 2019 Pop Culture Funko Pop unboxing. That's a mouthful, right? Okay, so Jake has um, put the number down for how much uh, it cost for all these pops in here to be shipped. We are going to be discussing prices in this one. Also, Jake, if you could just write 39.52, so £39.52, then that is how much we paid in customs charge to get this bad boy here. We will talk to you. So when you get a customs charge, you usually send a letter which is like this, and it's from Parcel Force this time. Sometimes it's from different couriers, depending on what they use. And then they put in here um, how much they charge. So I'll just quickly... So the customs duty says none, X, excise duty, none. So import VAT for importing it was 27.52. And then there was a 12 pound clearance fee, which totaled to 39.52. So we paid 144 pounds and 82 pence for the uh, SCCC pops that were in here. There were a few in my basket and I did take a few out and I do regret taking one out, uh, but we will discuss that. But usually when I've just, well, I've got my trusty blunt knife, but I have sharpened it so it isn't as blunt. So they usually send it with all this detail over the top and then generally trying to get through and rip them off. But the best thing to do when you get a box like this is to do it from the bottom, because when you do it from the bottom, then there is hardly anything to go through. Okay guys? Right, so. We have loads of stickers on here. Just checking the box condition. The only thing I can see, do you see anything on there, Jake? Any damage wise on the box? Is this probably this corner here? Hoping there's not a pop there because we know how well they pack their pop. So hoping there's not anything in this area here. So we'll, we'll, we will find out. But we are going to be opening it upside down. So let's crack on and find out. Um, guys, put in the comment section below what SDCC pops you got and tell us which one is your favourite one because these are not going to be up for trade or for sale because these are actually ones that we want to keep for our collection and these are ones that I've selected that I really, really loved uh, from when they were releasing them. Are you ready? Gonna, do you think you're going to recognise any of them? But the only reason we haven't worked out how much we paid from individually yet because I can't remember how many are in here. So. We need to try and find out. Okay, so, so far this is how it's packed. Pretty good, good packaging. Right, so Jake, what I'm gonna do is, if you just put your pen there a minute, I'm just gonna pass you one, um, and then we're gonna see if they're, I think they're um, in two other boxes. So we've got another box there, and we've got another box here. So, double packed, really good. So, very well done. Um, there's some Australian newspaper there, and then a couple of, looks like a whole newspaper. We could like have some sort of battle with these, couldn't we? Okay, so we have narrowed the big box down to two smaller boxes. Um, let's just throw that down there for a second. Right, what we'll do is we, oh, you can open a box and I can open a box, yeah, is that a deal? So put your pen down here for just one second, just while we do that. And then I'll quickly gently open this. I thought, I'm not too sure how many pops I got in here. And I'm hoping they've shipped them all and that I haven't, they haven't forgot any. Although there's quite a bit of room in there as well. I thought I did have more than this, but maybe not, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it said everything had shipped, so. We will find out in a moment. There you go, so that's your box. And this is my box. I think my box has got less than your box. Okay, so first out, let's just go with the best one first because we've got the best one in here, uh, by my mind anyway, you probably might think it was better. The first one is Carl and Ellie. So where are they from? Up. Up, the movie, or yeah, well I guess it's the movie, isn't it? Yeah, up the movie. So this is Ellie and Carl. Uh, these did sell out pretty quick after people realised how cool they were. These were the only ones I wanted to get. I was going to get them, um, I think they're Box Lunch exclusive. I was going to get them from Box Lunch, but they did sell out pretty quick. So I'm happy that I could get them from there. That has got a tiny bit of box damage here, just where it says pop. Um, so that means that it was damaged before being put into the box as we can tell they were double box so there's no way that these were getting any damage so here you go so you, I'll do a show you here so there on the on the, the bit where the exclamation bubble is there that is the only bit that's got damage I'll try and get it 
right close so you can guys can have a look. It's all bent up and it looks like it's been chewed on. But there you go. Anyway, that's a very minor bit of damage. We will get that put that in a pop stack sometime. Get that put out of the way nice and safely. Can you see it there? There you go, that's good. Right, and the other two that I've got in here, I've got more newspaper, so more packaging. I love having boxes because you can never have too many boxes. And then this one is, what's his name? Ratfink. Ratfink. So this is Ratfink. He is the GITD version, the glow in the dark version, again with the box damage. But um, yeah, there you go. So we have the rat things. These, I wanted to get these. I definitely wanted to get the chrome, as you can tell. We like the chrome pops, so uh, definitely had to get the chrome ones on that, didn't we? Um, again, box, can you see any box damage on there? You have a look over that one while I get the next one out. See what box damage there is. Right, so the next one is the chrome rat thing. And this one, they call this gray chrome, but you know, I, I just think it maybe looks like sort of like a dark sort of gunmetal finish. Well, I guess gunmetal is grey, so yeah, they wouldn't be wrong on that then, would they? So yeah, um, box condition on my one here, absolutely mint condition, there's no damage. What damage have we got on that one? Just this. So we've got corner damage on the top of the pop there, so just there. So these were damaged before they got in the box, so it must have been how they were stored or something. But you can see there, we've got box lift on the tiny corner part of it. But other than that, it's not too bad, is it? So I've got three pops in mine. So how many have you got in yours, Jay? Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna sit them there so you can see them still. Cool, you've got a lot in there. Right, so did you want to maybe tip it like that, and then, so they start to fall out, and then you can just try and like grab them like that. So the third one out of the box is who is it again? It's rat think. Rat think again. So did you, you you get your next one ready, and then I'll show this one off for you. So this one is green chrome rat think. As we know already, they're not really made of the vinyl. They're usually made of a plastic, but definitely a good one uh, that we've that we've got here. I did really want to get the rat think. I did like rat think, so I wanted to get them. And when I found out there was two chrome ones. Definitely had to get these because I do love chromes. Sometimes I buy stuff because it's in chrome, but you know, that's just, that's just me. So you just you just I just collect what I love, and that these were ones I had to get. What have we got next? Who are we gonna go with? Do you know what his name is? Super Saiyan Vegeta. So Super Saiyan Vegeta, and he is. Seeing if there's a little mark, no, that's fine. He is the red chrome Vegeta. Again, you know why we got the chrome. And we do like Dragon Ball Z. We've got quite a few Dragon Ball Zs. And he'll go nicely with the other two. So we've got the Super Saiyan Vegeta Toy Tokyo 2018 exclusive right there. And we have the blue Saiyan Vegeta there, which is the uh, 2018 full convention. So glad to have another one to add to that collection. I hope you don't go too crazy with these. Uh, with the chromes, which they are already doing, but you know, yeah, let's just hope they don't just go mad. Right, what have you got there? Let's have a look. You know who she's from, don't you? Yeah. So what um, is that one called? Bean. Bean, and what is she from? Disenchantment. Disenchantment. So Bean from Disenchantment. Uh, I had to get her. She's just so cool. She's such a good one. I don't know if you've seen Disenchantment. If you haven't, I suggest you watch it. It's, it's mainly sort of adult or um, older children because of the humour. It's just a bit like Futurama and a bit like American Dad. So, you know, at your discretion on watching something like this because there is a bit of violence and stuff like that in it. There isn't much to collect on this. There is only Elfo, uh, Lucy and King Zog. So, and in the normal bean, which I'll show you on the back there. So there isn't loads to collect, so I might finish this collection, depending on whether they decide that they're gonna bring out another series and carry it on, but they did that with Rick and Morty. I started collecting Rick and Morty, and then they went crazy. I just got, a, my hair is just, it's so hot in there, is it hot? It's so hot. It's always hot in the YouTube room. Yeah, so yeah, Rick and Morty, they just didn't know when to stop, and it just kept going and going and going. And yeah, and that, that really annoyed it for me just because I think have some of the really good characters, but if you're gonna to go too far, uh, it's gonna be really difficult to collect considering that I want to show them off and when people come round, you know, they always complimenting the pops and asking them and there's always, pops always bring a story to uh, people that come and visit, don't they? So, you know, that's, you know, I want to, them to be able to see them. So 
What have we got next? Um, Conan. Do you know who that is? Conan O'Brien. Oh, it says Conan O'Brien. You probably won't know who he is. He's like a talk show guy. So this is Conan. I had to get this one. I haven't got any of the other Conans. I do like him because he obviously has a talk show and is really good and they do really funny things and they have so many celebrities on. And I thought, you know, if I'm going to own one, perhaps own a unique one. And I love these black boxes. The black boxes really do it for me. They make, you know, they're definitely one that I would love, I like to collect. This is in absolutely mint condition. No that box damage whatsoever. And then there's a picture of Conan on the back. And there you go. So that is him there. We will try and do uh, Up Close Funko again. There is a sticker on there which says it's a 25th anniversary limited edition. So it's good to have one like that. So to have the 25th, 25th anniversary one. So there we go. What have we got next? Um, go Tex Super Ghost Cam's K's Attack. Okay, there you go. So we have Go Tanks. Um, this one, box condition again, is really good. Looks fresh out of the box. Considering it's come from Australia, it's really good. So that's our Go Tanks one. Um, really, really good. This is this is the um, the Super Ghost edition. So there you go. Really good. Like I said, the box and the pop is just absolutely brilliant. So he's kind of like a a, a pale sort of blue. Uh, as a ghost would be. He's done really well. His tail like squiggles. I don't think we can see it that much, but it squiggles all the way to the bottom like a ghost would. If it was kind of like a genie ghost. But yeah, I, definitely one. These these are absolutely amazing. I mean, SDCC this year has done really well. Is that your last one? Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. So yeah, SDCC have done really well this year. I did have the Kang, um, is it Kang and Crank? I can't even remember his name. The ones, the, the Simpson aliens in the car when I got on. It didn't take me that long to get on, to be fair. Uh, I got on quite quickly. And I took them out of the car because it was getting quite expensive. I had a few more in there that I wanted to get over. Um, I had a couple of the um, Toy Story ones in there as well, but they started bringing them out over here. And, uh, you know, I just, I didn't want the custom shard to be, ex ex you know, extraordinary. So I, I just had to, you have to know when to stop sometimes. Right, so what's the last one, Jake? Batman. Batman. So this is the teal chrome Batman. What are we like on box condition? Are we good? We do actually have another teal chrome Batman, which I'm thinking about doing, uh, giving away in the 6K giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned to that, guys. Because if you think, what do you think? Yes or no? Do you think that we should give away one of these chrome Batmans in the next giveaway? Yeah? With a chase? We might do that. We might do that. So guys, if you think that we should give away one of these teal uh, chrome Batmans in the next giveaway. Put in the comment section below whether you say yes or no to the teal chrome Batman being given away with a chase for hitting 6k subscribers. We hit 6k subscribers, did I tell you? You didn't know, did you? No, it's okay. Right, so anyway, let's have a look here. So we have got all these. So Jake, you've got to do your maths now. So what we need to do is work out how many pops are here. So how many pops have we got here all together? Seven. So we've got one, two, that's just one, so that's two, ten. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine altogether. So what we got? So you need to add up 144.82. So if you've got your calculator, mm. we're just going to work out how much these cost individually. You know that that's a two pack and they usually cost a lot more, but we're just going to work it out roughly how much they were individually. 144.82, so just um, just press clear on there, so 144.82, and then we want to plus the 39.52, uh, 52, equals 184.34, and then we want to divide that by 9, and then what do we have? 20.48. 24.48, so we're 20 pounds 48. So you know what, that's not too bad. Considering they're selling the teal Batman, um, you know, the teal Batman's going for 17.99 in Tesco's right now. You know, that isn't too bad. So these are working out about 20 pound a piece. So that's 20 pound, 20 pound, 20 pound, 20 pounds. You know, so yeah, I, I'd say that's not too bad. Considering they came all the way from Australia, some of them uh, that sold out, Go Tanks definitely sold out, was quite hard to get hold of. Um, the Ellie and Carl, we know that's worth a bit more, so if we took some of that off, we're probably averaging around about maybe £16. 
uh, pop or even less than that and considering that this one's going for quite a bit more so you know what I, I think we did pretty well we these none of these are going to be for trade or for sale guys we will have another unboxing coming very very soon and the unboxing that is coming is going to have some really good stuff in there I don't want to ruin it for you but make sure you stay tuned to the channel guys and make sure you subscribe and please set what do you need to set? The bell? The bell. The bell. So make sure you set, set the bell so you don't miss out on cool videos like this. We've had Jake uh, in this video. He's kindly helped out, although you can't hardly see him through the pots. There he is. Um, yeah, so he's helped out doing a bit of maths and a little bit of adding up for me today, haven't you? So you've been really good. Um, yeah, so guys, thanks very much. We'll see you again on the next one. So um, see you soon. Say bye. Bye-bye.